School of Jonathan pushed back Boko Haram. PDP reports. Bandit vows to kill Greenfield student today. She will reacts. This are new today's headline on Tuesday, being the fourth of May 2021. Let's listen to the headlines and the body of the headlines. The first one says bandits vows to kill Greenfield student tomorrow. She Usani reviews. She Usani reacts as bandit vows to kill Greenfield students on Tuesday, Daily Post, Nigeria. A former federal legislator, She Usani, has called on those in authorities to do everything possible to ensure that the adopters of students of Greenfield University, Cardinal State, do not kill themselves. The kidnappers who are suspected to be bandits have vowed to kill the remaining 17 students if ransom is not paid. Daily Post reports that about 22 students were adopted from the university campus on April 28th when gunmen suspected to be bandits invaded the school premises. The gunmen within a week killed five of the victims as state governor Nassau Ahmed el vowed not to engage in negotiations with any bandits. The leader of the bandit who identified himself as Sani Idris Jalingo, while speaking in an interview on Hausa service of Voice of Africa, said that the remaining students will be, would be killed if the government failed to meet their demands. According to him, the demand includes 100 million naira and 10 brand, 10 brand under motorcycles, which he referred to as Boko Haram. The former lawmaker further warned the governor of KB State, Abubakar Atiku Banguno, who recently asked Nigerians to seek divine intervention to the secu security issues enabling the country. Two, the second headline, headline is Gulag Jonathan pushed back Boko Haram, PDP report. Gulag Jonathan pushed back Boko Haram, but they have become confident under Buhari. The People Democratic Party has again tackled President Modi Buhari over the rising insecurity in Nigeria, saying that Boko Haram insurgents now act confidently. Uche Secondos, the national chairman of the PDP, said that while the party is willing to help address the security challenges, that Buhari must live up to his responsibility rather than simply wishing that the problem will go away. Many states across the country have sick, have been seeing a spike in criminal attacks in recent months. The third outline says, Udo Emmanuel promises justice for slain job seeker. Ikwa Ibo State Governor Uto Emmanuel has promised that the government will ensure the killer of Ms. Inubong Omori does not go unpunished. He made a promise on Monday when he led some members of the State Executive Council on a condolence visit to the family of the deceased. Umore was the lead lady kidnapped, raped, and murdered by a young man who had promised a uh, uh, promised her employment. It is suspect identified as Udo Frank Akpon has since been arrested by the police in connection with the killing. Governor Emmanuel, who was represented by the sec secretary to the state's government. Dr. Emmanuel Okunwe lamented that the whole state was saddened by the gruesome murder of the young job seeker. He condemned the killing of Umuren, which he said was at variance with the state government's effort at encouraging the youth to be engaged in profitable ventures. The governor decreed that the late young lady was awaiting a National Youth Service Corp called up later for the 
for a moderate for a mandatory national service before the accident happened. He was, however, confident in the ability and commitment of the police to ensuring that justice was served, adding that the state government would not interfere with the investigation. Speaking on behalf of Omori's family, her brother and sister Ukemi and Ifong thanked the governor for the visit and appealed to him to ensure that justice was allowed to take its course. The state government encouraged and and Encouraged on entourage of the visit, including the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Ine Ine Nomong, the Commissioner for Education, Inogiesis Itebet, and the Commissioner of Women Affairs, Ine Idiakpa. The fourth headline says Microsoft to train 5 million Nigerians in tech skills, says. Osibaji. The Vice President Yemi Osibaji says that Nigeria is to partner tech giants, Microsoft Corporation, to accelerate the economic sustainability plan on a deep, the deepened digital economy. The Osibaji spokesman, Laolu Akande, in a statement on Monday, in Abuja said that the vice president said said this at a virtual formalization of the partnership. The vice president said that the partnership would leverage Microsoft experience in the utilization of techni- technology as an enabler for the delivery of public and social good. Under the partnership, no fewer than five million Nigerians would benefit from the Digital Unskilling Program, the partnership anchored on connectivity, skilling, and digital information and transformation as well, and was sequel to discussion between both parties lead, led by the Vice President. The fifth says, the fifth headline says, Sponsor of Emo Recent Attack Arrested. Suspected sponsor of Imo deadly attack arrested. Sarah reporters in some attack, policemen, police station, and other government facilities, including Oweri Correctional Center, have also been targeted. For the two year old man identified as Namdi Okofo from Ana from Amanachi community in the Osu local government area of Imo State has been arrested by security operatives for allegedly sponsoring this recent daily attack in the state. In some of the attacks, police men, police stations, and other government facilities, including over the correctional center, have been targeted. The country home of the state governor, Okuzadima, was also recently attacked by gunmen who killed two security guards attached to the governor and built and burnt his building. According to Vanguard, Okafo was arrested at Ubuhu Ohi around Line Line Assembly, Oweri, Olu Road in Imo State. It was learned that security operatives had been watching Okafo for some time before his arrest. The suspect was also identified as director of Pekube Hotel in the state. Thank you for listening.